<laughs> no idea what the hell's going on. Right, okay. So, we're fine. Uh, no, I, I didn't. And, um, and it did actually change it round, which is really weird. I don't know what that's all about, Kerry. But, uh, a bit of equipment block in the right corner and shadow on the left. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, that's that then. We don't want that. Oh, my good God. Uh, I can't get rid of that bit at the bottom. I re I'm, I'm annoyed. I'm really annoyed. Okay, we're going to have to ignore this thing in the bottom corner because we're not going to be looking at that anyway. So, you know, we're going to be focusing on the... Um, on the cutting mat so I will um I don't know don't know what to do it it is really really tight so I'm sorry we're gonna have to just work in a tighter way and um yeah uh, see what the heck's going on it might be because I'm film I'm using my other phone to to do the video I don't know but so I've left this here uh, all the moving around you guys may or may not have been able to actually see it but yeah this is your equipment list that I did post earlier so obviously they're your essential things here your optional things here and you know you guys should all know because you will watch the previous live that we don't want decaf here <laughs> that's it none of that um so yeah, as long as you've got all of that now, I'll put that off to one side, but if anybody needs it again, it's to hand, it's fine. Um, and I will now do the winner and then we'll get on with looking at the folio and stuff because it's really exciting. Um, so I've got the number generator here and let's make sure that you guys can see it. So. We have 67 entries and uh, we want to make sure that, there we go, can you guys see that clearly? 1 to 67. All right, let's see, shall we? Uh, where are we? Generate, oh, 67. <laughs> well, there you go. So um, let's have a quick look, 67 is Karina Hartman. So congratulations, Karina. You have won the giveaway. Um, and I will be getting in touch with you to figure out which of the themes you want your journal to be in. And we'll discuss everything there. But yeah, brilliant. There you go, guys. Thank you to everybody that joined in for the giveaway. It's been absolutely brilliant. It's like four times as many people joined in this one. So I'm really, really happy. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Um, and the chat's just going a bit silly there. There we go. Yes. So congratulations, Karina. Uh, well done, honey. And we will get on with sorting that out for you. And now I can get that phone out of the way. So let's have a little look here. This is what we are making today. And um, obviously on the, the teaser thing, I didn't show inside um, the, uh, the folio. So what we've got here, this was a cheeky last minute addition and it's not actually essential. That's why it's on the optional list to have a split pin slash brad. So when we go onto the inside of this one, we've got pocket over here, pocket over here, we've got a cup of flappies going on there, another little pocket down the bottom, but this one has a big pocket in the top and a big pocket at the back that's held in place by those two tags and then there's two more pockets. So I thought it was quite a cool idea to, to do that, whereas I do like things that are kind of self-closing, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically, so that's what we're going to be doing. I have done the measurements in both um, inches and centimetres because, obviously, I know everybody has different uh, measurement systems. So, 
<laughs> no, no wee birthday win for you, Chels. <laughs> So I've got all of the measurements written down as well. So they will go into the description um, at the end in case anybody wants to watch it back and make another one or, you know, whatever. But it looks really complicated, but it's really not, I promise. Um, are we in frame? Are we in frame? We look to be in frame. Hmm? There we go. It's tight. It's tight, but we'll get there. Okay, so, so I will put those over to one side because I'm going to need them to remember what I'm doing as well. <laughs> right, so first things that you're going to need are, let's say, your paper trimmer or something to measure and cut with. You're going to want some uh, double-sided card and stuff as I mentioned in the equipment list, and some decorative paper that matches because this keeps the bulk down. Um, if we are, you know, sort of putting quite a lot of pockets and, and tags and stuff like that, if you decorate them with paper rather than card, helps just keep that down a little bit. So, okay. I've also got, let me just see here. So I've got my bone folder and things like that, you know, the kind of standard stuff. I've got my ink, my eyelets, my crocodile, that kind of thing. Um, and it's optional to have some punches to punch out corners and like thumb holes. But I quite liked doing it with the hexagonal this time. Uh, I thought it was kind of cool to have it like that. So yeah, so it's like corner punches, notch punches, not essential, but they're if you want them. Um, I've got some things to stuff into it when it's made. Um, and if you want to know how to make these um, really cool little letter folds, I have a tutorial for them um, on the channel. So you can make yourself some of those as well. They're dead easy. And then lastly, I have got my sort of decoration bits, you know, things to stick on kind of thing, you know, that kind of stuff. So nice and easy. Um, I'm just going to see if I can just move that over that way slightly. There we go. Because then it's more in front of me and I've got to try to remember to keep it really, really tight. But as I say, at the moment, I'm not entirely sure why, but it's running about 20 seconds behind me. So it's a bit tricky to, uh, to keep up with comments and stuff because obviously they're really, really delayed. Um, I've got glue in a couple of bottles here. As always, um, well, as usual, I'm using the Yoohoo liquid gel with a wider nozzle and a needle point nozzle for the fine detail stuff, but you know, you don't have to have it in the two bottles. So first thing we're gonna do then is we are going to get our card that we want to make the pockets from and the, uh, the side flaps and everything. So let's see, that one's gonna be for the sides. This one is gonna be for the main pockets. So I'm hoping that you guys are with me and able to see what's going on. Um, I'm really hoping. So I can see it on the preview here in front of me on the camera. So I'm really, really hoping that it's working. <laughs> Oh my life, what a nightmare. Okay, so if you guys are ready, uh, and yes, Kathy, making sure the thumbs up go on is really important because it will show more people. <laughs> and we like it when there's more people. Um, so yeah, if we're ready, so I have to actually wait a second just to make sure that you guys are ready because of the delay. And I don't want to jump ahead if anybody just needs a minute, you know, which is fine. Um, but at least I know I am in frame now. <laughs> it won't let me zoom out or anything. It, it's insane. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, okay. No, we're still not catching up. Uh, these cardstock papers were Stamperia. 
Um, this came from, let me get the pad. Um, it should just be here, which it's not going to be now, is it? Because I need it. Oh, that's just typical. Um, where has that gone? I literally had it this afternoon. I was looking at it. And now I don't know where it's gone. Ah, that's so infuriating. Um, but yes, uh, <laughs> about two hours. <laughs> uh the thumbs up is just under the sort of title and like where it says so darn twisted 1.59 you know that kind of thing and you'll see the share and report and clip and save and all that the thumbs up is just there which for me is still showing at zero i mean this is terrible <laughs> but yeah i'll find out the name of that um card stock but i say it is stamperia these two are anyway right so how are we getting on guys are we ready to roll yeah okay ah uh, see my chat is alongside it so that makes sense if it's if the chat's taking up the whole window then yeah that that would make sense Ugh. thanks Kerry. right Let's get rolling, shall we, guys? So the first thing that you're going to do is we are going to make two at 11 and by 15, which is five and seven eighths of an inch by four and five sixteenths of an inch. And it took me ages to do this today. <laughs> Absolutely ages. So, yeah, anyway. So we're going to get started then. So we're going to cut the two at 15. And uh, because these sheets are always just slightly over 30, aren't they? Which is odd. I don't know why they're not just 30. But the second one needs to be at 15 and a half. So that's fine. That will do for that piece. Okay. So that's the 15. And then we're going to cut that at 11. Hi, Julie. And then we want a second one of those at 11. I'm sorry, guys. I am so, so tired today that it's, it's actually driving me crazy. My brain's just not engaging, but... I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> so now, now we need to make two that are 15.5 by 12, which is six and one sixteenth by four and three quarters of an inch. So there we go. Making sure you guys can see that. Right. Fabulous. So let's get that. Typically, you need to just pull it out a little bit to get to the 15.5 uh, the mark. But that's okay. And these ones are going to be by 12 wide. So that's one. And then two. How are we doing? I don't think the chat's refreshing for me, guys. That's about typical, isn't it? Because it's me trying to do something. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to score the two bigger ones, okay? So we're going to score them at half a centimetre, which is one eighth of an inch, along the bottom and up the two sides, okay? So make sure that you're not cutting at this point. We want to be scoring. <laughs> Okay, so half a centimetre, let's say one eighth of an inch. Obviously, I know it might take a minute for you guys to do the scoring if you're not using a board, so that's fine. We'll take it slow, we're not going to rush. Um, and I am actually paying more attention to it than I did when I did that quick make on the last live. <laughs> oh dear, 
I don't think I was taking any notice of what I was doing, not anybody else. Right. Okay, so we've got those scores in place. Now, I'm just going to get my scissors here and my little bone folder. I think the chat's frozen. I'm just going to check that because it's not updating at all for me. And this lag is awful. Okay, so I'm just going to get my bone folder and I'm just going to fold along those score lines. Well, hopefully that's because um, people are paying attention and, and doing the stuff, which is fine. I, I prefer that. Um, I'm just... I'm kind of aware of the fact that because the video is being problematic tonight, um, I just want to make sure there's no problems. I don't want to leave anybody, you know, really behind or anything like that. So when you've done the scores, like so, you're going to do like when you, if you, those of you who know how to do book binding, where we just kind of cut diagonally across that corner. And we're going to do that. And straight across there and then I'm just going to nick a little bit again just a little diagonal off the tops because it just looks nicer <laughs> you're not making oh no why why are you not making you just here for the coffee and the cake that's fine, that's fine. I, I have no objection to that. If somebody's going to bring me cake, though, that would be nice. I want birthday cake, but I always have to make my own birthday cake. I mean, what is that about? Apart from one time when... Um, hi, Amanda. When Sean... Um, Sean made my brownie recipe <laughs> for my birthday. But that's the only time that... Uh, that anyone else has done a birthday cake for me. So it sucks when you're the only one who ever bakes in your household. <laughs> what on earth did you get up so early for? I mean, half four in the morning. God, I'm not that good. <laughs> you crazy, crazy lady. <laughs> oh, I would appreciate that massively, Amanda, because I really love cake. <laughs> oh thank you Jolene thank you honey all right so we're going to take our two pieces that are scored and we're going to take the two pieces that aren't scored okay and what we're going to do is we're going to glue those on to here now the reason I do it that way rather than just gluing the edges to the edges is that the pocket opens properly when you do it like this because the glue point is at the edge rather than in where you've glued it down the edge of the card this is brilliant oh Bev why I, I don't even know what half four in the morning looks like <laughs> let alone anything else okay all right I have to keep an eye on making sure that this is in frame so we are just going lightly lightly Ugh, no, the hell with that. I'm medicated. You see, actually, at half past eight, I have to take my medication. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's... Uh, then from about 10 o'clock, I'm like a little space cadet. <laughs> Nobody can get any sense out of me. <laughs> right, so we're just gluing that down along those three edges onto those strips. Oh, really, Amanda? Isn't it fun? It's like everybody sees you as a bit of a party trick because <laughs> they never know what you're going to do once you're drugged. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Lucy, that's awful. No, see, I, I can't imagine, cannot imagine doing that, honestly. But then I'm permanently exhausted anyway, so, you know, there's that. It wouldn't matter what time I get up in the morning. I always just want to go back to bed straight away. That's chronic fatigue for you, isn't it fun? I know a lot of my ladies have 
like fibro in that as well so yes a riot is about right <laughs> But yeah, I know a lot of you completely relate to the whole, you know, constant exhaustion thing. It's like I found my fibro bodies. <laughs> yeah. The fibro is awful. I, I've had that for 27 years now, the fibro. Um, and ME for 12. So... Yeah, it's been it's been fun. <laughs> Definitely been fun. Um plus I have like um I have hyperthyroidism as well. So this one is just a little bit longer. I've just cut it a little bit too long. Um yeah, so that comes with chronic fatigue built in as well. Um and uh my insides like to try to rupture on a regular basis, you know, that's fun. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, well, you know, it, it's an outlook. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do? You know, you just get on with it, don't you? Um, actually, I should have cut the, the side flaps first. This is what I mean. I'm not paying attention to myself tonight. Okay, so optionally, you can now make a thumb hole in the tops of these. Um, or you can just leave them. You can use circle punch and notch punch, whatever you want. And we're just going to knock out a nice little hole in there on both of those. And what I tend to do, if I'm if I'm eyeballing it, I'll put the first one on there and then it tells me where to put my punch to get the next one as well. It's a nice little cheat, that one. You know, when you do it and you think you've measured it right and then when you put them together, it's like that and you just go, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's never fun is it okay so that is your front and your back pocket made okay we're rolling we are rolling right for the side flaps you are going to need let's get this over here for you guys again two of these and you're going to want them at 15 by nine and a half centimeters which is five and seven eighths of an inch by three and three quarters of an inch okay so again I'm going to cut this on the 15 over here <laughs> oh bless you yeah it's um yeah thyroids are complete dicks aren't they Lucy <laughs> I, I can relate to that really really hard um because it's oh god it sounds like i'm sort of uh on a, a right oh my god where is me i've had cancer five times right and i'm still here so i think that just says that i'm really stubborn you know i think i just refuse to uh to be beaten okay so these 15s are going in at nine and a half as i say which is the three and three quarter inch um Oh, Bev, bless you. It'll be in the it'll be in the description, honey. The measurements will all still be there and this will be getting uploaded anyway. So you'll be able to see it regardless, honey. So you'll be able to make one when you're feeling a bit more with it because I totally understand what it's like. I really do. It's uh it sucks a lot. Right. So, two side flaps. Okay, we're going to score those at half a centimetre and make sure that your outside face, so we've scored it down that one, so that will be my right side, so my left side I'm going to want to score so that the same side faces outwards, you know, so it's obviously it's got to be like a mirrored thing. Um, oh, I'm sending you so much love and hugs, Bev. I know exactly how you feel, darling, but don't worry, I'm not going anywhere and um, I'll continue to annoy everybody with my videos so you can catch up later. <laughs> oh my God, I've got the shakes, this is ridiculous. When you're trying to cut something so really detailed, really fine, and then your hands just go, by the way, 
let's have a spasm, shall we? <laughs> no! Okay, so that is now our side flaps done. And where have I put... <laughs> Where have I put the two pockets? Here they are. I've put them away. Why have I put them away? I mean, really. Okay, so because ordinarily what I should have done was I should have glued this between that, but I didn't. And it doesn't matter because it can just glue on here. It won't make a massive difference. It's how it's normally done anyway. But I just, you know, on the prototype, I thought I was getting a bit fancy, but, you know, <laughs> obviously my brain kind of went no you can't do that not today satan yeah can you guys believe bev and i were talking about this earlier on that um my birthday tomorrow friday the 13th is just so fitting for the little goblin that i am um but i was also i turned 13 on friday the 13th i mean you just you can't make that up can you <laughs> I think I was always destined to be a little bit of a demon, you know. So we're just getting this side pocket and uh, we're going to just pop that along that edge nicely. Just get that in, make sure it's in frame. Do you know, they're absolutely brilliant, Jolene. I love this one. It's, um, I don't know if you can see the, the top there. It's by Vason Creative and I got it from Amazon um, and I absolutely love it. Like a lot of cutting boards, though, like paper trimmers, the um, the blades do dull quite quickly if you're using card a lot, which I do use card an awful lot. So, you know, but when it starts to dull and it starts to shred the paper, like a lot of trimmers do, don't know if you guys know the trick, just get some scrap paper and put it under the piece you actually want to cut and it'll help to stop it from tearing until your new blades arrive. Mine are coming tomorrow. <laughs> so now we're gonna put the left, the, the right flap on, sorry, I'll get there. So we're gonna just pop that along that edge there. Okay. When I upload this video, I'm gonna see if I can trim it down to get rid of all the messing around at the beginning with this stupid camera never had such a ball ache in my life hi Lorena oh Tanya were you isn't it great isn't it just great we're just proper little demons <laughs> right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the scrap pieces um and we're gonna just get one of these scraps here this is fine and we're going to just cut this at nine centimetres wide. Um, you know, I've tried that, Julie, and it didn't really work for me um, because they say the same thing about um, what do you call your cricket blades as well. You know, to punch them into a rolled up ball of, um, of aluminium. Uh, and I've never found it to work. I don't know. Maybe it's just me or the foil. So I've got that at nine by two and I'm going to score it down the middle. So I make sure I remove my cutting tool. That is the only downside to these two in ones um, is that they uh, you, you will regularly find yourself cutting rather than scoring. <laughs> yes, that is an absolute excuse. You've got this. You just go for it, Jolene. <laughs> okay, so this is going to join these two. Okay, now again, it would be better if they were tucked inside the bottoms of these, but I think we've covered by now that uh, that Becca cannot brain. Um, <laughs> I love, I don't know if M Melissa's in at the moment. I, I can't really keep up with who's joining all that much and still sort of do this, but um, Melissa said one of the, like her favourite thing from the, um, I've done that the wrong, it's meant to be 11. Oh my life see okay let's do that again shall we 11 by 2 and score it at 1 <laughs> Christ alive uh, but it's quite fitting actually because yeah Melissa's favorite part of the previous live was uh, me saying that I couldn't brain because I have a dumb because uh, she can relate to that <laughs> like, yes hi Melissa different Melissa honey um 
Not that I don't love that you're here, um, but Melissa ML Brewer on the groups. Our oh, other lovely Melissa. See, we have two of you. There's probably more now, actually, but uh, I know there's definitely the two of you. Um, and you'll, you guys will have to excuse me. I do my best to remember like everybody's names and stuff uh you know because a lot of people have got usernames rather than the actual names and stuff so i do try to remember everybody's proper names but you'll have to forgive me if i forget from time to time um or mess it up because brain fog is real okay so we've got that strip down on that one and um, we're just going to make sure it's nicely lined up and then the easiest way to do this is to hold that nice and flat and just butt this one against it. Okay, and then you can just kind of push. And that will just give you enough of a grip to then fold it over and know it's going to be in the right place. Um, eight trimmer, you eight. Oh my God, I have two. I have this one and I have a proper like pull down handled guillotine one you know uh so it's like that's a lot <laughs> that's a really lot okay so this is where we're at so far then so we've got the right flap the left flap we've got our main pocket here and our secondary back pocket here okay so that is the majority of the work now is pretty much done um so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the inside pocket for the left hand side which here we go so your left hand side is 12 centimeters by nine which is four and three quarters by three and a half inches and um, where it says here cut the diagonal to your preference so what what i mean there is you know you might want it all the way to the top and to the side you might want it you know in a bit different angles whatever works best for you whatever you look at and go yeah i like that you know then that's fine so I'm just going to, I'm going to take this one actually, because this one's kind of nice and a bit weird. And I like a bit weird. So what have we got? What have we got? Are uh, we going to get 12 that way? Yes. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work within the confines of what I've got on this piece. Um, but so that's got my 12. That's got my nine. So that's perfect. Okay. So, so yeah, if you wanted yours to go all the way to the top, obviously it would be 15 rather than 12. So that's down to your preference. Hi, Krista. Diane. Oh, Diane. Oh my gosh. I've, I've just realised that's, that's crazy. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Oh my God. Right, so we're just going to cut that diagonal, as I say, you know, just kind of however you want it. Do you want it to be really shallow at the top, really deep? You know, I tend to go for about half and half, really, but it depends on my mood, in all honesty, as to how I do these pockets when I'm making folios. Um, so, and sometimes you'll find when you close it over that you may have a little bit of a sliver sticking out. You can trim that off afterwards. It does depend on how thick your card is and things like that. Diane, I cannot, I actually cannot believe <laughs> that I didn't realise. Honestly, I, I, need, I need to be shot. I really do. Um, okay, so we're going to take the punch again if you want to. And we're just going to throw in um, a little hole there. And then that's given me my pocket. Now, at this point... I would be grabbing um, a corner punch of some description um, and clipping out my corners on these flaps, etc. So we're just going to quickly pop them out and I'm not even being tidy today. They can just go wherever they like. I don't care. <laughs> I'll deal with the mess tomorrow. Who am I kidding? I'm not doing that on my birthday. Um... <laughs> It's like a sulky teenager <laughs> stamping my feet. I'm not doing that on my birthday. And then I'm going to grab some ink and we're just going to very, very quickly 
because the outside edges you can do once it's glued in obviously but the inside edges really need to be done first so I'm just gonna give it a little blap and uh, there we go that's nicely there and we'll give this a tickle around as well before we go sticking things to it um, most of you probably are aware of the fact that I absolutely detest inking. <laughs> I hate it. Literally, I'm trying to train my husband so that, you know, I can just get him to sit and ink things for me, you know, and uh, while I make things and, and do the cool parts, you know, because this is just awful. <laughs> Whoever invented this inking thing <laughs> needs to be shot. <laughs> drives me mad and I, I honestly I don't even know why I hate it as much as I do but you know but one of my ladies says well if I'll do your inking if you do my fussy cuts for me and I'm just there going I don't like doing fussy cuts either <laughs> see I find that the um the guillotines actually are a bit worse for um what you call it uh getting it a little bit kind of off the you know off the measurement kind of thing i find precise measurement really difficult with the guillotines um but i don't know maybe that's just me um or maybe it's the guillotine i have who knows <laughs> no way to know right okay nearly there nearly done see blooming horrible Horrible, horrible. Whose idea was this anyway? <laughs> ah! It's really hard trying to keep this in frame. Not, you know, not that you guys really need to see how to ink something because I'm pretty sure that most of you are already quite proficient. Um, I don't think I've got any sort of, you know, real beginner beginners in at the moment, but I could be wrong. All right, so. Now that we have that one, uh, we're going to glue this one down. Again, trying to make sure I keep that in frame. And we just tickle that along there. <laughs> See, my husband is absolutely fascinated by it. He will sit there. If I make something like, a, like you know, this, for example, he sits there absolutely fascinated when he's sort of, you know, moving something, finding something hidden or, you know, like this with the sort of the, the tags holding it closed kind of thing. And he sort of pulls it up and then this other part comes out and he, he just raves about it to everybody. <laughs> he's just like, it's brilliant. I don't understand it, but it's brilliant. And that's the thing I love is he sits there saying, I don't understand it. <laughs> no no he really doesn't right so we're going to do that middle pocket now which is 10.5 by 5 which is four and one eighths by two inches so oh god donna sorry to hear that darling oh no yes definitely let me know what happens oh no we can't have poorly dogs i like dogs well i like all animals really now so for this one we're going to want um we're going to do the five to not be taking too much off of the length of that card oh my god everything's just going everywhere <sighs> kill me see what i mean this this is chaos trying to keep all of this contained is awful oh yeah now you turn up now you turn up you're only like 45 minutes late Vic <laughs> oh dear what am I going to do with you woman okay so we have that and again I'm just going to throw a little centre notch in there there we go and uh, we'll ink that oh We'll do the bit of feminine. We'll do those corners first. Then, then we will do that part. Um. <laughs> oh, bless him, Jolene. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. At least he's supportive, even if he doesn't understand it. <laughs> oh, were you hussying, Vic? Is that what you were doing? You were hussying. Why am I not surprised? Reminds me of John Lowitz in Friends. Tartlet. Right, okay. So you're going to have to make it on the catch-up now. Silly woman. <laughs> right, so we're just popping that down in the middle. Fantastic. And then we've got that little one that's going to go down on the right corner down here, which is nine by five. So let's get that one again. And we'll go another five. And we'll get that out of my way. Oh, oh bless you, Melissa. That's so sweet. You'll have to show me when you finish making it, though. I'm going to want to see. Oh, a new tarantula. Oh, I do love tarantulas. I used to be terrified of spiders. Ah, now, Melissa, this is the other Melissa that I was talking about. <laughs> Um, now, I used to be absolutely, completely terrified of spiders. They were just like, it was my idea of hell, spiders and snakes. And then I got um, guilted into handling a snake and thought it was the best thing ever and became completely obsessed with snakes. And then um, my friend, when I was working as a photographer, I had my studio, my friend had loads of snakes and um, reptiles and insects and arachnids. And he would bring um, Tallulah, the tarantula, down to be in photo shoots and stuff. Uh, and I used to walk around with her on my chest. <laughs> like, obviously, she was protected. She wasn't going to fall because obviously that can kill them. But... Um, it, it was just bizarre that I went from being absolutely petrified of them to, you know, absolutely loving it. And there's plenty of videos and photos and that of me walking around <laughs> with the, the tarantula. <laughs> it's fabulous. All right, guys, see how close we are to having this done. It's ridiculous how close we are. Um, let's just get that doing what it's supposed to be doing there. It just didn't quite want to stick it's going to need a bit of a trim down, actually, looking at that. OK, we'll give that a little quick trim then. I'll ink it up later, it doesn't matter. OK, so now we're going to make the flap pockets. So you can, um, I made two in the other one. You can make three. Three will fit. It depends on how you are, sort of how quick you are to make. If you want to um, just do two, if you're not sort of, getting ahead of yourself kind of thing so these are going to be 11.5 by 8 centimeters and then four and a half by three and one eighth centimeters so what i do oh sorry inches not centimeters good grief becca now what i'm going to do for the flaps is i'm actually going to just use some plain card and then i'm going to use the decorative papers to um to decorate that so we're going to get that to 11.5, just there. Is that, yeah, making sure I've actually got the right measurement this time. <laughs> 42. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. My friend Martin, he had, he bought one to the, to the studio this time and he said um, that it, it was so dangerous. This, I can't remember what it was, but it was so dangerous that you couldn't, risk it ever getting out of uh, of the habitat it lived in because if it bit you you'd be dead in like you know 40 minutes or something like that and I thought, why would you want that in your house <laughs> okay so we've got um the 11.5 that way and um we want it to be eight that way so yeah, it's four and a half by three and one eight. Okay. <laughs> yes, my dad's Aussie. <laughs> and he always used to say to me, like, you know, you, you always check before you put your shoes on. 
<laughs> it's like, yeah, I can well understand why people do not want them over there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to score it at half a centimetre on the short end. Okay, so just get that and give that a little score there. And you're going to say two to three of these, whatever you prefer. Um, so depending on how quick you're following. Oh, uh, wolf spiders, they just look so cool, but I can totally understand why people would be absolutely terrified of them. Because I think I probably would be, actually, in, if I had one <laughs> in the house. <laughs> as much as I'm fine with tarantulas, it's just like, I, I don't know if I could deal with that. Right, so we've got that little score line there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to just fold that so that it meets here at the score line. Okay, and just give that a little fold. Give it a little pass over with your bone folder. And do the same for your score line as well. And same again with however many of these you are making. You know, if you're showing off really, you're going to do three if you just want to show off. <laughs> I swear to God, if I wasn't so tired, I would probably be doing three myself. Okay, then we're just going to get a little bit of glue and we're just going to go just along not on the scored piece, but just on the inside, just to stick the pocket flap to. Uh, and then you want to glue this side, okay? So the scored side is on your right. Okay, and then we're gonna fold that over and just let that have a nice little glue down. There we go. And again, we're going to just uh, cut some holes in these as well, once we've done the gluing. Okay. Fantastic. Well, apart from me getting a couple of bits wrong, we're doing okay. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you guys will forgive me because you're such a cool bunch. <laughs> and you know what? I absolutely just love how many of you have just kind of arrived on my group as well because like i i don't really um i don't advertise my own group in other people's groups you know like the ones i admin you know i i just don't do it um i don't know i i think it's rude i suppose <laughs> but um yeah you guys have obviously found it via the videos and stuff like that or you've just kind of searched yourself and it's really lovely because people are posting stuff and um it's it's actually like people are interacting people are being really encouraging and fabulous and i just absolutely love it so thanks guys for coming along and being so supportive you know in the group it's just been fantastic um and i appreciate you so well, that's that's why that slipped down i'm like why can i not measure that it's because it's slipped oh it doesn't want to let it both in fine fine that's fine it's fine everything's fine there we go we'll just do it like that instead uh yes yeah, the, do you know, the page, I, I really need to do something about the page. Um, this one is an inch, I think, Melissa. Let me just check for you, honey. Uh, yeah, that's a one inch um, punch. So it's perfect for this kind of thing, you know, when you want something that's a bit different, you know, rather than the sort of the standard circle. Um the notch punch I have makes a nice shape, but, you know, I just, I think this is a bit nicer still. So now we're going to grab some of that decorative paper. And I want something that's really going to kind of stand out, but really complement. So I'm thinking this one's a nice, you know, a nice, uh, nice win. So we're going to use this one. And basically all we're going to do here is we are going to cut it to half a centimetre, sorry, one centimetre less. So that's 5.5 now because obviously it's half of 11. 
because 0.5 is taken up with your score line. So 5.5, so I want it to be at 4.5 by 7. That's the bit I didn't work out in inches, guys. <laughs> Sorry. But, I mean, you, you can just eyeball that. You can just literally, you know, pinch fold it. You can just put it kind of there, give it a little pinch, and you'll know that it's roughly in the right place, you know. Um, but, yeah, I, I do think the hexagon is really, really nice, you know, just as just as a nice change kind of thing. Um, nothing serious. <laughs> right, so what did I say I needed? I need it to be... 4.5 by 7 and I want the 7 to be that way because this is directional paper if it's not directional paper then it really doesn't matter so and we're going to get that to the 4.5 oh and we're going to just kick it about a bit oh my god cats I do you know I, I adore cats I want a cat because I've always had cats. It's only since I um, married, you know, moved in with my husband. Well, my afterwards husband. Um, he he just will not have any pets at all in the house, so I can't have cats. Um, but for me, it's like I really want a cat because they're absolute liabilities, and obviously, I relate to that. <laughs> Addicted to punches. Oh, Melissa, I'll have to show you the collection of punches that I have accumulated since doing this. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, so we've got four of these. Obviously, if you've made three of these, you're going to want six of these. So, you know. And again, I'm just going to use that as a guide for where the centre point is going to be. So it's going to be about there. So that's fab, and it will go over that because it's not card. Okay. Oh, and there we have it. I went in a bit far there, didn't I? Ah uh, well. I was bound to. Uh, I was bound to make some daft mistakes today. We're just going to roll with it, okay? <laughs> We're just going to go. Yeah. Okay. Becca's having a day. But. You know, I'm here. I'm giving it a go. <laughs> you guys will just have to forgive me. <laughs> okay. So let's try to get that one in the right place, shall we? Because that would be really useful. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, Jolene. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Um, I, I have a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of punches, you know. Um, it doesn't help because um, I... Um, what am I doing? I don't want to do that corner. It's this corner. I have an amazing um, crafting charity shop. It only does craft stuff um, and it's called the Craft Barn. And they have, obviously, all of these supplies um, for, you know, like 50 pence for a punch and stuff. You know, what are you going to do? <laughs> You know, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? So I ended up with absolutely loads of them. Thank you, honey. I am trying. <laughs> oh, no, Vic, don't tell me that. That's going to make me sad. I lost my boy when he was 21. Oh, God, I loved that cat so much. It was ridiculous. Right. OK, let's get on. Let's get on. Um, oh, it, the craft barn is absolutely amazing. It's um, by Chase Water Park um, in the in the West Midlands, um, and I I know a couple of the ladies that I've told about it actually um, travel <laughs> to it from like Derby and stuff like that, <laughs> and it's just like that's ridiculous. Hey Tabs, hi. I, I, I don't know how you're late, honey. Um, you, I don't know. Did you do a Google conversion? Um, <laughs> because, yeah, you, Google. Um, I think, uh, have you gone for the four-hour difference instead of the five? Uh, because in most of the states at the moment, I think we're at five. Um, so... You're in Stoke, aren't you, Vic? Sure, is it Stoke? Hello. 
we see we've got we've got people joining now and um yeah it looks like google's messed some people about that's so sad i'm so sorry to hear that i don't like it when people are sad because they they've got here late because of google but don't worry you can watch it all on the live after or the the replay afterwards so you're not going to miss out completely and you're just going to have to put up with my company <laughs> just for a little while you know just to upset you you can just deal with me stafford okay Right, I don't know why I thought it was Stoke. Well, Stafford is not that far, is it, from Chasewater Park? So, you know. Um, if I was still able to drive the majority of the time, which I'm no longer really able to, I would have come and picked you up and we could have had a hussy and harlot day trip to the craft barn. <laughs> why not? Okay, so we're just plonking those on there. Last one. Oh, this is all going minus my couple of mistakes. I shouldn't have said that because the people that have just arrived thought I've just done this and it's all gone really well. And no, I've fluffed a couple of things, but we made good because that's what happens, isn't it? When you make mistakes with this stuff, <laughs> you just kind of go, well, I'll just put something over it or I'll just change it a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so we're just going to nick off the, just the corners again of those, of the flaps, because it's just a bit better. It, uh, I don't know why, it just looks better. So, we're going to get some glue down on here. Yeah, I know you're in Devon now, Bev. Yes. Because, yeah, I sent you some, a couple of things down, didn't I? Because, ridiculously, we were in Devon in June. Um, tomorrow, I think I'm going for sushi for my birthday. I might actually go to the craft barn. <laughs> I'm going to get my husband to, uh, to drive me over to the craft barn and uh, spoil myself a little bit there. And... Um, then yeah, then then sushi. So we're gonna kind of line this up so that this edge kind of meets up with the start of the thumb notch there. It doesn't have to be exact, you know, that's just kind of roughly where I normally aim for when I'm layering uh, pockets and stuff. Okay. So, do you know I didn't I didn't have sushi for well until about oh god four years ago maybe five years ago because I thought it was all just you know like raw fish and I was like I don't I don't want to eat raw fish yeah <laughs> and eventually realized that actually no it's not all raw fish <laughs> and uh, there's some very very nice things in there I mainly eat um the vegetarian stuff if I'm honest although I do like a good chicken katsu curry um belly band okay belly band nine by three have well, I got three on there just about uh which is three and a half by um one and one eighth of an inch it, you know it doesn't have to be precisely that but just don't go too wide kind of thing um, unless you want it to be a full width one, but I kind of wanted this one to be a bit more um, sort of centralised, you know. So that's that one. And then all that's actually left is the back pockets, which come together in a matter of a couple of minutes, and the tags, which again, you know, don't take very long. So we're just going to throw some ink down on that. Yes craft shopping is the best for my birthday last year it came up in my facebook memories today that um for my birthday i was going to hobbycraft to pick up the orders that i'd bought myself as birthday presents because you know you've got to treat yourself on your birthday right <laughs> it is indeed a whole other hobby there is collecting craft supplies and there is using craft supplies and they are very very different okay so that's just kind of going in the middle of there that's your belly band in that's your flappy pockets in your side pocket 
and your bottom pockets there. So now it is these back pockets. So these are, uh, where are we? <laughs> Let's see what we've got. Right, yes, back pockets. So we're going to make two at 11 by 6 centimetres, which is 4 and 5 sixteenths by 2 and 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm starting to realise now why here in the UK, we ditched the imperial system and went for the metric system. <laughs> My God. I th I've said this before when I've done um, like tutorials and stuff, that I was brought up with um, things, you know, um, with the metric system, uh, with the imperial system, sorry. You know, everything. And I still think in feet and inches for height uh, and stuff like that, but for anything that are in sort of measurements like this forget it like you know it has to be centimeters or i'm completely lost um but yeah i don't work in kilometers <laughs> either for distance i don't know it's like this horrible mishmash of the two okay so these are 11 by 6 um oh god you know what lucy i'm absolutely determined that i'm gonna go to the states again because when i went last time uh 2018 was the last time i went to the states um i i wasn't doing journaling and the sort of the crafting stuff that i did i didn't really need to you know to worry about um what do you call it words becca words think words yeah craft supplies weren't really an issue um it's only been since i started this and it's kind of like oh you're kidding <laughs> and i'm pretty determined that i am actually going to go across to the states and i'm going to take an extra suitcase and i am just going to fill it with things from dollar tree and michael's and you know yes bev yes cooking is grams i i can't stand cups drives me mad <gasps> Jolene, I do the same. I have boxes of things that are like, I can't use that. I can't use that. It's too nice. It's too nice. Oh my God. Vanessa. Hi, Tanya. Vanessa, you made it. Honestly, guys, okay, so Vanessa is like my crafting um, soulmate, okay? We bonded months and months and months ago because we realised that we are both completely clinically insane um, and love all of the same things. So, yeah, we, we have a real kind of love going on and we never make each other's lives because uh, Vanessa's ones are always kind of like three in the morning for me and as we covered earlier on, you know, being awake during the night just isn't going to happen for me <laughs> so we we never make it but mine are usually in the middle of the day for you guys you know and Vanessa's somehow always gets the time an hour late <laughs> by which point it's usually finished you know so I'm so pleased you made it today I love you I love you so much oh crazy crazy okay so these need to be five centimeters um by 10 centimeters and we're going to want two of those <laughs> do you know what i don't care if people are late you know the fact that anybody turns up to watch me waffle and you know and do things like this is just it, it's insane you know um and i really really appreciate it uh okay tanya we are making this folio here just with different card because obviously i've already done this one um so oh we are making this right now so we are on the home stretch we don't have long to go now which is wonderful um <laughs> It, it's true though tabs it's like yeah i just well you guys know i just waffle along and hope that any of you can make any kind of sense of it you know <laughs> no guarantees right oh dear it's fine i'm fine it's fine everything's fine right so we're just gonna if you want to again obviously just gonna punch out some of those give them a little corner clip and 
Isn't it weird how all these things seem to take a bit longer as well when you're um, doing it on camera? Like I put the other one together in about 45 minutes and that was the prototype one. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just today, maybe it's just because I'm a bit slow today. Um, oh, faff is a great word. Will you stop faffing? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have the right accent for the Jon Snow because that's like a northern accent, like north of England kind of thing where they, they sort of use it like uh, snur, Jon Snur kind of thing. And it's really weird. <laughs> the way that that woman says it in there it's just bizarre but yeah that's um i'm a i'm a dirty southerner uh no 4 30 a.m is is mad now they're the best kind of waffles though aren't they the ones that you have on ice cream and stuff definitely so we're just gluing these on and um wonder about who Camilla I don't know do you know I much prefer banoffee waffles banoffee waffles are like my my thing I absolutely adore banoffee waffles they are the best but then I love banoffee just everything about banoffee oh she's got the right accent they seen oh now chicken and waffles is something they've started doing that over here now as well because i don't know what it is about the brits but we seem obsessed with you know if the americans are doing it we must do it as well i, I don't know why um and some of the things i think really did did we need to um, <laughs> and one of them is chicken and waffles my my brain just can't compute that it it's just wrong you know yes I am a dirty southerner. I really am. It's it's true. Uh, that's because now I live in the Midlands, like I live in the middle of England now, but I actually came from the south of England down in London um, and like moved up here when I met my husband. So what we're just going to do here is we're going to just kind of put the other pocket kind of where it's going to go and then see where we want that to sit behind it. So that just tells us where to pop that down. Um, oh, that sounds like great. Absolutely great, Lucy. I love that. Yes, Yorkshire. Exactly, Phyllis. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, believe me, everything is really not worth doing. And, and some of it, I, I really have to wonder um, what the obsession is with English people, um, especially. It's not so much like british it's english which i know some people are a bit confused about that but they are two different things um <laughs> the, the the british is sort of in, incorporates everybody in the british isles you know which is like um northern ireland england scotland and wales um and a few other places but england is not britain so oh yeah, my Google does that. I have to mute it. I have to turn off the microphone, otherwise it just interrupts me constantly and says, I'm sorry, Becca, I don't know how to help with that. Although one time my Google did actually kick in and it said, um, like, I can't remember what it was trying to talk about, but I was just like, no, I'm busy right now. Go away. Um, and I basically told it um, to F off <laughs> and... Um, it got quite offended and like basically told me it was sorry uh, and the same thing happened to me with Siri as well and Siri actually said to me I'm really sorry Becca I was only trying to help and I wanted to smash it um, <laughs> okay so we're now going to work on the tag so as you can see here it's like 10 by 16 which is 3 and 15 sixteenths by 6 and 5 sixteenths but if you want it to be longer if you want to do the moon closure that was just an off cut on the top of my tag basically <laughs> I, I literally just I cut the tag too long so if you want to make it longer and have a moon closure then make that 18.5 rather than 16 which is seven and five sixteenths of an inch so i hope that's making sense 
okay so I'm not actually gonna do the moon closure myself today but um I will actually no I probably will you know well, I probably will um <laughs> That is brilliant. That is actually brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to have to just open that up to get to the 18 centimetres because otherwise I can't do it on this board. Stupid board. Okay, so this is the part that gets a little bit tricksy. So what we need is we're going to need a pen and you're going to need something round, um, which I'm going to... I'm going to attempt to use my coffee cup, you know. <laughs> no, it's not wide enough. <laughs> Damn. I need something that's rounder than that. That's the one thing I hadn't actually considered. What about that bottle? No, that bottle's not wide enough. I'm just going to have to eyeball this, aren't I? Oh, my God, that's not going to end well at all. Okay. So I recommend <laughs> having what I don't have, which is something that is big and circular. Um... I'm now just looking around for everything in my craft room. Oh, that'll do it. My Cricut tool thing. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to kind of put that in the middle kind of thing. Brilliant. Yep. Down a little bit. And I'm just going to kind of swipe around like so. There we go. Can we see? I got the pen. I got the pen. Um, that's, it, it is a very cool, <laughs> a very cool tag thing. Um, okay, so we're just going to do the one side, the other side. We, 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 uh, we all know how brave am I right now. I am using scissors, guys. Woo! Right, so now we're going to do the same thing again to get your moon, okay? So we're going to just sort of scooch down a little bit and do exactly the same thing. Where did I put my pen? Um, there we go. If you guys have a Cricut, I cannot recommend this tool thing enough. Half of my tools are actually in the tray in my Cricut at the moment. Um... Oh no, you have to you have to try with your cricket. You really do. It's a game changer for junk journaling. Um, it really is, honestly. Um, absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't be without it. Um, I'm using um, Tabby. I'm using my um, iPhone 14 Pro. I think it is. I can never remember what phone I have. And the mount is um, an angle poise mount. Um, you know, the one that you can kind of bend around to all different shapes and stuff. You know, um, it's that basically. So we're just going to grab an outline of this. You can just glue it down if you want to and then just cut it, you know, that might even be a better idea. But when I did the prototype one, what I realised was that the moon um, was a bit flimsy, so it could really use a little bit of reinforcement. So hence why I'm doing that this time. Now, see, I've always wondered about the scanning cuts, but I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's something that's worthwhile if I've got a cricket already. Um... Yeah, I did some already, Bev. Um, I think I did some already, and I've. Oh, Michelle, Michelle gets annoyed with me. <laughs> uh, no, she doesn't. I'm kidding. I, I filmed one for making foils, uh, foiled tags, on the Cricut, and when I went to edit it, the file corrupted, and I got so upset. So I have to refilm it. Uh, but I might do it with like some Christmas tags because. The, the foils look really, really good for sort of Christmas-based stuff, you know. Um, but I cut templates. I cut folio uh, covers, you know, sort of like fancy edged pockets, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's great. Oh, Vanessa, this is just like um, 
This is a Stamperia one, uh, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember which one it is. I did try to find the cover earlier on. It's around somewhere, uh, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, but, yeah, I, um, I need to find that, and then I will put it on the thing. Uh, you know, this is the thing like, I... I didn't mind crafting for Christmas stuff, but um, I never, last Christmas was like the first Christmas, um, sort of I'd found junk journaling just a couple of months before, so I didn't really do anything for Christmas for it, but I know that a lot of people really enjoy it, but I just think, well, I'm not sure that I would, but then I have a, a weird thing with Christmas at the moment anyway, because... Well, yeah, sad, sad times, sad Christmas times. Okay, so we've got our big tag, we've got our moon. We are killing it, guys. We are absolutely killing it. You're going to have to excuse me for just a moment, though, because I am absolutely late to take my medication um, and I don't want to die. <laughs> One out of ten, do not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> okay we're good sorry i have to swallow about 15 pills <laughs> it like, takes a minute <clears throat> right okay so where are we at big tag right so now we're going to make the small tag i'm going to try not to die it's it's just a mess you know you die there's a lot of paperwork it's a hassle you know this is why i just sort of say to you know i say to my loved ones if you could just not die you know that would be fabulous thank you very much where have i put the bit of paper that's got the tags on there we go yeah I, i'm doing my best <laughs> like you know I, I am trying really hard to just stay alive <laughs> i'll see how i get on okay so this is going to be the smaller tag now in the prototype one i had the small the thinner tag like a bit longer uh, but actually it only needs to be a little one because the whole point of it is to obviously kind of close off the pocket takes a couple of a couple of uses for this to uh to come open nice and easily but you know it's half the fun right so yeah basically that's the only purpose of the second tag is just to hold that pocket so it doesn't need to be that long at all so just so you guys know you've got the choice there so the one i had uh four and a half centimeters by 15 centimeters which is uh one and three quarters of an inch by five and seven eighths of an inch but as i say i would be doing that shorter now which i will be doing this one shorter so I'm going to do this one at kind of you know, eight centimetres because that's fine. And 4.5, well, it can stay a bit wider, can't it? 5.5 is fine, really. Um, now, if you've got a tag punch to punch out the top into a nice shape or anything like that, now's the time. Get on and do that. Um <laughs> See, like, because um, I don't really, I don't have any lady bits anymore. Well, like, or some of them I do, but you know, the problematic ones, they took them out <laughs> by force um, uh, uh, 15, 15 years ago, yeah. Uh, so they don't tend to mess with my lady bits all that much anymore, um, which is great because, you know, cancer sucks. <laughs> right. Okay, so at this point, oh my god, I'm so sorry guys, that would have been really loud, wouldn't it? My stupid ring caught on the thing and, you know, that was fun. Okay, so I'm going to kind of line up the little tag and the big tag, kind of get that roughly central. And then I'm going to get this horrible beastly thing. I, I both love and hate this tool. <laughs> 
that there's just no there's no in between some days i'm just like oh it's the best thing ever other days i'm just i want to launch it across the room just kind of as my daughter would say just yeet it in temper so we're gonna just get in there get ourselves a nice little hole and as i say this part once you've made a hole and you can use anything that you've got to make the hole you know it's fine um but the eyelet now is completely optional you can absolutely just grab your um grab your lace which i've put somewhere where did i put my lace why am i having a nightmare okay so what are you oh my god in about tabby um all right so you can absolutely get yourself a bit of lace or a bit of ribbon whatever you prefer um good tip if you've got wide ribbon and you're trying to get it through the hole get the middle twist and just twist okay so that you get something that's really quite stiff pinch it and now it will just go through the holes like so so takes all of that you know you don't need tweezers or you know any of that kind of stuff um see my papers don't get stuck in the holes when i punch it comes out um which was great because my last punch that i had, I had a different punch and setting tool and it absolutely got stuck in there and i had to keep getting a pin to push the built up sort of clips out of it it was really annoying <laughs> okay so let's just give that a nice little tug so there you go so you don't have to have the eyelets if you want then you can absolutely put the eyelets in there twisted exactly sewed on twisted lace i should trademark that shouldn't i <laughs> right so uh, get it the right way up becca because that really helps like I say, when you first make them, you sometimes just need to kind of prime your pockets a little bit to, you know, to gap out for you. So that when you give them a little squeeze like that, you should just be able to slide those in like that. And then that will just hold that back pocket. Not pocket. It's not a pocket, is it? <laughs> oh, my life getting ready for work that's crazy that's crazy that went in the wrong bit um so yeah so that's basically all of the folio and that part of the closure done so at this point you can just call it done you can just say okay well you know you can tie that off with some you know some coordinating lace or something like that you know to um to what you call it words can someone tell me where my words went, please? Because I can't seem to locate them right this minute. There we go. Now it's in the right one. Um, there we go. So, yeah, you can call that done. Stick some stick some lace around it or some um, cord, you know, whatever you want kind of thing. And now you'd get to the point where you'd grab all of your, you know, kind of embellishments and stuff like that, you know, like I will probably put something like this, you know, on the cover, which was just some corrugated cardboard, some fabric, some book page, and a nice little, you know, a nice little thing there. Um, oh no, the big bite is a pain in the backside, let me tell you. It is horrible, absolutely horrible. Um, <laughs> I don't know how anybody loves that thing. It drives me crazy. But if you did want to use your moon that we've actually hmm, misplaced, there it is. Um, if you want to use your moon at this point, what you will need is the aforementioned split pin or brad. You could use a decorative one like that, or you can just use a plain one like this. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab something sharp. I have the um, Crafter's Companion Pokey Tools. Um, are the, which ones, Vanessa? These ones or the ones inside there? Or those, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I dislike, I dislike the big bite. So you're going to get your pokey tool. 
and you're going to figure out where your halfway mark is roughly. <laughs> you can eyeball it, you can measure it. And we're just going to poke that through and just give it a push. Okay, can we see on camera? Yeah, you can see that hole, can't you guys? So what we're going to do then is we are going to line up our moon, turn it round, make sure that's where you need it to be. Find out where you put your pokey tool. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I love making those, Vanessa. I'm terrible for it. So we're just going through the moon as well. Sounds like a lyric to a song, doesn't it? Go through the moon. Split pin, Brad, whatever you want to call it. Either or is fine. We're just going to put that through both the moon and the cover like so. Flip it over, turn it round, and then a good way to get those to kind of sit properly is to turn it back over and then just give it a light press and it will just help it to flatten out. And at this point, what I did on the prototype one was, <laughs> got to be sassy here, I put a strip of card over where the the legs of the slip, split pin sit. So you can use washi tape or a strip of card. You know, if you if you don't care, you can just leave it as it is kind of thing and that's absolutely fine. So what will happen then is, she says, I've done that a little bit tight, but that's actually not a bad thing. The other one was a little bit floppy. So there you go, there's your moon closure. Ta-da! Da, 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 da. look what we did we did it and what you can also do is you can put pockets on the inside of here you could put another pocket on the back of here um this i'm just literally doing this to how the like the original one was because i just made it up on the fly <laughs> like i do i did a little sketch in procreate and went oh yeah let's make that um so yeah it's like um i don't know why i'm struggling with this the other one i'm just like yeah smack straight in this one's being a real pig um <laughs> yeah you can do that however you want you know and i'll be inking around the edges of the tag and that kind of thing and you know around the edges of the moon which i did the same thing on this on the prototype actually i forgot to ink it until it was already on so i just kind of turned it around and inked it <laughs> like that <laughs> You know, just, yeah, whatever. Um, and then you can just stuff it full of your chosen ephemera. So, like, for this, I've got kind of, you know, vintage uh, letters and, like, tickets and stuff like that. Um, always remember, though, with the moon closure to spin it back round before you open it. Otherwise, you'll bend it, and that is not fun. So... Uh, yeah, I've got the like the vintage letter that I was showing you guys earlier on, you know, and if you've got something that's kind of chunky that sits in there, you wouldn't need to worry about the split pin being on show anyway. I've actually got two of those there, I think, at the moment. Um, and I've got like little mini notepads and, you know, there's another really cool letter fold actually with this one that uh, is on one of my videos. So you'll have to check that one out if you want to see that one um but yeah you know there's kind of there's plenty of bits and pieces there's plenty of little places to you know to tuck things away and all that kind of all that jazz all that jazz um oh really oh god Dan, that's terrible i'm sorry you're gonna have to make another one aren't you now and then you'll you'll blame me why can't i operate pockets today Honestly, I, I should just be euthanised. Like, my husband always says that. He's like, it's nothing that a shotgun wouldn't cure. <laughs> That's too long for my pocket. That's why it's not going in. So, we'll shove that in there. And that one will fit in there. Um, I've just realised I'm hoping that's not gone out of frame. But, okay, so, yeah. So, we've kind of got all that nicely, you know. But you can stuff that as much as you want, obviously you know and then um thanks amanda guys amanda journals to inspire there 
was the first group I ever joined on um, on Facebook. First journal group I joined when I first discovered it back last late October, early November. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> and now I help admin her group, which is amazing. So I'm going to just pop that on there now. And uh, where is my, my bigger glue? I'm going to want my bigger glue. So as you can see, just corrugated cardboard. <laughs> Fantastic. So we'll just wodge a good lump of glue down on there. Wodge, that's another great English word. Uh, feel free to steal it, my American and Australian friends. Um, oh, I'm glad you like it, Babs. This is how my brain operates. <laughs> I just come up with these weird things. Um, oh, that's brilliant, Jolene. And you you know, it's, uh, it's my pleasure, literally. This is what keeps me sane, especially since I've had to retire. You know, helping out with the groups and helping out, you know, with like the tutorials and now, you know, the sort of craft alongs and all that kind of stuff. You know, it, it gives me something really good to focus on as well, because obviously um, not being able to to do my job anymore kind of, you know, knocked me about a bit. Um, and I really felt it and I needed something better. I need, you know, what better but just something uh, that was nice and fun because I used to have so much fun in my studio in my photography studio like with the the models and you know the makeup artists and what is wrong with me why can't I make that work um it's so easy she says and then can't do it um <laughs> but yeah it's you know so finding the groups and having everybody be so lovely and we have such a great time you know and we have such a laugh on you know the lives and stuff like that and in chats and it's just brilliant so so, you know, um, and well, I'm I'm glad to be able to help because, yeah, I've got two of you here right now because Clemens Crafts and Journals to Inspire, Amanda and Vanessa, you know, um, I admin with both of them on their groups. So, you know, uh, and if you don't know already, there's like events and stuff going on. Come and join the groups if you haven't already. Um, the Clemens Crafts group is actually called uh, Junk Journal Junction not Clemens Crafts anymore so look that up and come and see us there so and uh, obviously Amanda's group is journals to inspire so I don't need to explain that one further um <laughs> it's very difficult to find the good groups and I have found some really amazing groups I've had to leave a few because like they're just ridiculous you know you make a mistake and you know you post you post something. I, I tried to post a tutorial, I think it was. No, it was a freebie. I tried to post a freebie and I got really, basically I got bollocked for it. So it was like, you know what, you can stick your group and I left. Um, but yeah, the, the groups that I link in my descriptions on my videos, they are by far the best groups I found and that's why I stick around. That's why I help with, you know, all the events and stuff like that. The Junk Journal for Beginners group, I do a lot of the stuff on that group, you know, but people think it's my group. It's not my group. <laughs> Just I'll say that now, not my group. Um, but another brilliant one. So welcoming, so friendly. So, you know, there's there's plenty of them. Go and check my links on the other videos and I'll, I'll probably remember to put them in this one. Uh, if I can remember the name of this Stamperia pad, I will also link to it on Amazon um, and put that in the description as well. Um, yeah, I know. See, this is what I mean. It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? You know, banning people from a group for, you know, oh yeah, I just don't get it. I don't get it. So, yeah. I'll stick with my good ones. Thank you very much. Right, guys, we're done, okay? Well, you know, your personalised decorations and stuff, you know, your stickers and your fussy cuts and all that, all your optional bits and pieces, that's kind of, you know, that's the one. Time is an illusion. Well done, Lucy. Thank you. You're a, just a legend, aren't you? Yeah, Lucy's going to be like my new PA. <laughs> Lucy and Julie because Julie was the one who managed to rescue half of the well the majority of the chat entrance 
for the giveaway because it corrupted for me, but she was able to somehow, I don't know, she was able to go and find them. So anyway, um, yeah, if you've got any questions about this or, you know, anything related to, you can either ask me now or you can um, go to my group, you know, post on the wall. It's not just me that's happy to help. There's lots of us in there that are really happy to help and advise if you need it. Um, or on the other groups I mentioned, you know, again, you'll always get help there. So ask now, ask then, doesn't matter to me. Obviously, I know there's a load of you have said how much you love this. I'm so grateful. I really hope that you have loved it. You know, um, yeah, that, that's the one. It's nice and cheap. <laughs> but you know what? I have to say, right, this brand, and I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that or affiliated, but a lot of the stuff that I have is face and creative because they are just my absolute favourites. Their punches are crisp. They're amazing. I love them. Um Okay, Vic, go and get some sleep, honey. Um, the draw happened at the beginning of the video, sweet. <laughs> we did that at the beginning. Um, and I'm trying to... <laughs> this is how, how tired I am. It was Karina that won, wasn't it? Karina Hartman, yes. Because I actually... I did assign the numbers um, in the group this morning. So, yeah. That was already done. Um... Yes, I want the cake as well. I want to know where the cake is. <laughs> so, have you guys had a good time? Um, you know, my, the mess that I have made making this is atrocious. Um, <laughs> but I am actually going to go and eat some cake with my husband. Jill, you're too late. We're just about to finish. <laughs> you turned up way too late, chick. Love you, Jilly. Um... What was I saying? Cake with the husband. I made malt loaf, like malt cake. Yeah, malt loaf cake. Um, so I'm going to go and eat that with a fresh coffee. Um, no decaf. <laughs> He's not going to sneak me the decaf. <laughs> um, I, will, I will be doing li live craft alongs um, at least once a month, I'm thinking maybe once every two weeks. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Um, if I don't know if every two weeks is too often or if, you know, um, if monthly is better for you guys. But I think I'll probably put that out on the um, on the group, you know, as kind of like a poll, you know, um, whether or not you'd prefer it to be done weekly, two weekly, monthly. And then you guys can just let me know. Um, you are so, so welcome. Honestly, guys, it's been fabulous to sit here and chat with you all. And, you know, hopefully some of you have made it with me, have already sat there with something that looks really cool. Um, and the rest of you that are going to be making them tomorrow or, you know, over the weekend or whatever, do make sure to come and post photos when yours are finished. You know, I really want to see how yours came out, you know, what kind of themes you use, what papers you use. I, I just love it. It. same reason I love the bingo thing and seeing what you guys all create you know when I give you the the numbers so it's it's really wonderful <clears throat> excuse me so okay then guys in that case I am going to go eat cake drink coffee uh collapse <laughs> into a little ball probably um and I will be around you know periodically tomorrow uh but obviously I'm not going to be around quite as much as usual so you'll have to forgive me if I'm not really responsive on the groups and stuff like that tomorrow uh but I will get to you I promise good night Marion I love you Marion's my craft mummy <laughs> I have craft sisters, craft mummies. I need a craft aunt. Who's going to step into that role? I need a craft aunt. Um, a cool one, you know, the one that always has gum. <laughs> okay, thank you, Lucy. I'm going to give it a try. And if I do go to the craft barn and have a massive haul, then I will be sure to show you guys what I get like I normally do. <laughs> I love you too, Vanessa. And thank you. Uh, yes, Friday morning. Yep. See, it's already Friday there. Oh dear. I don't know. It will be Friday here in about oh, three hours. Okay, my loves. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you for entering the giveaway. Thank you for all the support that you guys give me. It is phenomenal. And I'm so, so grateful to all of you. I really am. So, you know, I love you all very much and I will see you all 
um, on the groups and we can have a chat and have a little look at these. So in the meantime, take care guys and I will see you soon. <laughs>